Uh, Harry and Loss, I'd say, started affecting me about the age of 17, 18, once I've been at the Friesland Ricks for a couple of years. I just made the New Zealand cricket team, uh, I was aged about 24, and I had a call from the 2ZB station, radio station in Wellington, wanted me to go on a, a quiz show, and it was to be held by telephone, and that just really destroyed me. The I just wasn't comfortable all with phones, and I thought, no, I'm going to muck this up. Um, went through with it, did okay, but I, it was just an indicator then that telephones to me were just horrible things to deal with. All through my playing days, my cricket playing days, there was no sort of hearing aids, no nothing. It's, um, it's a thing that uh, I just put up with it, and I would have struggled for work if I was just an ordinary person out there in, in the work scene. I wouldn't have been employable. But uh, two or three people looked after me, gave me jobs, and I was pretty thankful for that. But I was about 58, 59, when the audi audiologist finally decided that uh, I could qualify for a, because my hearing loss was so, so bad, that I, I could be suitable for a, a cochlear. Now, I've never heard of a cochlear up until this, this point. So when he told me about this, and when I went to see about it, and found out about how these things work, and I just, I really, I couldn't believe it. I was just so annoyed. I've got a huge issue with the people that are sitting on a wait list and they just go nowhere. Um, I would, because I've experienced the, the implant and what it can do for you and how good they are, they're, they're just brilliant. I cannot see any reason why, if somebody can stay in the workforce and be put back into the work, workforce, that they should automatically be implanted. People question the cost of an implant. Anybody that's implanted and gets back into the work, workforce, they're going to pay that implant off. Personally, I think it's, it's a no-brainer to, um, to look at the implant and say, right, is this guy's life better? Of course, it's miles better. And to me, personally, I've, I've went from nothing, in a sense, to the age of 58, 59, and all of a sudden, I've got a life back.